Well, hello. This is exciting. A couple of months ago, I did a show at an Indian casino. Hold your applause. And I brought my husband with me. We're parking the car, and he says, you know the one thing that makes me sad about Indian casinos? And I said, the one thing? Just the one. What is it? What's the one thing? And he said, the fact that there's no Native American restaurants at the Indian casinos. How great would that be? Native American restaurant at the Indian casino. Wow. <laughs> you know, as an affluent white couple, if we could just find a couple of Indians and go, could you guys do one more thing for us? <laughs> just a couple of hominy burgers and some fry bread? No, no, I get it. Uh, there's a reason why there are no Native American restaurants at the Indian Casino. My fellow Americans, it is because we are a melting pot, a pot of meltingness. Everyone takes their ethnic food and we put it into the melting pot. And then it brings us closer together. And then we do a very American thing where we pick up the melting pot and we move it into the frozen food aisle. Now, I don't know if you know any Native Americans. I do. Turns out they are not big melters. Not a melting people. Don't want to. Still mad. I get that. I totally get that. Uh, but here's the thing about frozen food. Once frozen, that's no longer ethnic food. That's, that's American food. Once it's frozen, it's ours. A frozen taquito has not seen a Mexican woman in 100 years. But every six-year-old in the world knows what it is and loves them, brings us closer together. The frozen food aisle is already a trophy case to American imperialism. It's already <laughs> happened. So what I want the Native Americans to do is to take all that rage and pour it into a frozen food line, a boxed food line. They could call it Mana Feast Destiny. And all the, all the profits could be used to buy land. Who cares? They could take all that rage and it could be a poke in the historical eye every single product. It could be like... Oh, is there some reason you don't want to buy Trail of Tears mix? Does it, make you, does it make you sad when you think about pigs in a smallpox blanket? How about just a, a case of sitting Red Bull? I have a dozen of these. Sacagawedes. Now, here is how I know that it works. Here is how, because six months ago, I'm in Indiana talking to an old white guy. And in the course of that conversation, old white guy says to me, have you ever had this pod tie? Have you ever had this Thai food pod tie? Yeah, yeah, I have. Have you ever had pod thai? And he goes, yeah, yeah, I had a lean cuisine pod thai. It was real nice. It was like spaghetti, but with peanuts. <laughs> yes, yes, that's exactly what it was, my friend, from Lean Cuisine. And then he said, you know, and I bet you those Thai people are some real nice Oriental people, those Thai people. And then I stared at them for a second, and he said, I don't think I'm supposed to say Oriental. So we can all be taught, <laughs> my fellow Americans. We learn things. I live here in Los Angeles, and my favorite thing about Los Angeles is that we're the only ones still in the world that are still making up jobs and industries and careers out of nothing, out of poof, out of whole cloth. Everything to do with your dog or your kid where you don't walk it or wash it, that's us. Out-of-work actors and comedians make up jobs all the time. And I, when I travel and I see a Pilates studio, and I do, all I can think is, you're welcome. We made that up. <laughs> Pilates isn't real, you guys. But there's ones the rest of the world hasn't seen yet. Nobody's seen TaskRabbit. Nobody's seen Pink Dot. TaskRabbit will do your errands for you. Pink Dot will deliver anything you want, day or night. Two in the morning, two in the afternoon. I need a box of Pop-Tarts and a Crescent wrench, you'll say. <laughs> They'll send a man to Walmart. That guy will come over to your house. You'll give him $70. You'll continue to do blow or whatever creepy thing you're doing. <laughs> And I was trying to think, what wouldn't Pink Dot deliver? And like, if I called him up at three in the morning and I said, I need one bullet. <laughs> Ooh, and a DiGiorno. I, I like the idea of it being delivered once. And, but you gotta start, you gotta start your own business. You always do. I've already registered familypetancestry.com. I've registered it, I've registered it. Because one day you're gonna wanna know if your cat came over on the Mayflower. You're gonna wanna know if your dog is eligible to be a dog of the American Revolution and join the DAR. And I'm gonna be there for you. Thank you so much, you guys. This is fun.